everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I want to say thank you so much if you're new and you're coming to my channel. Welcome. And if you're returning subscribers, I want to say thank you again for coming to my channel. And thank you for all the love and support that you've given to my channel. I watched my channel grow. And yes, I'm very appreciative of you guys spreading your love over my way. Um, and here I am to spread that love right back to you guys. So today's video is going to be all about the firefly um, spirit animal and what it really means when you actually see a firefly inside of your life. And this animal is going to be coming into your life as a spirit guide, as guidance. Um, it can come into your life as a messenger, basically. So yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so the firefly is such a sacred, beautiful um, guide and messenger to see on your spiritual path and on your journey and in life in general as a messenger or, or guidance because this insect is very, very magical and special in many ways. Um, when you see this insect, it can be coming into your life at a moment where it's telling you to basically understand the light that you have within yourself, okay? It is a reminder to you when you see this insect that you actually have eternal light within you because we're all made out of light, right? So this insect comes into your life to remind you of the brilliance and the glow and the shine um, and the light, the fire that you have inside of you that just never fades away. And with that being said, this insect can also be coming into your life to basically remind you to not dim your light and to let your light actually show and shine. If you're inside of a relationship or if you're inside, if you're um, attached to a job or if you have any attachments with friends or people that could be possibly dimming your light and not putting you in the spotlight and just having you not shine or putting you at a lower level than they are, um, you know, and you're seeing a lot of, of um, fireflies in the moment in your life while these things are happening to you, the firefly could definitely be pointing towards you needing to step into the limelight and um, basically dive into yourself and find all of the gifts and shining, beautiful um, blessings that you actually have to offer to the world and let your light show. It's about not really standing inside of the shadows and it's about stepping into the light and letting people see you for what you truly are and letting people see you for the brilliance that you have inside. So if you have a lot of gifts, right? Because the firefly has this gift, an amazing gift to make itself light up. And this gift it has, it doesn't need electricity. It's not a light switch. It's literally some magical thing that happens inside of it where it it on it just lights up on its own without any type of human um, human technology or man-made equipment it just naturally has this true essence within it to give this gift of being light and joy right so it is telling you as an individual to make sure that you dive into yourself so that you can find the gifts that you have inside of yourself so that you can find your essence and your true um, your true blessings and gifts and then turn around and let it shine so that people can see you for who you truly are. And with that being said, this insect can also come into your life as um, a guidance to basically tell you that you should present yourself as um, how you really are. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be telling you to not judge a book by its cover because the, this insect really gets overlooked a lot because during the daytime, you can barely know what its gifts is and you're just judging it on the outside. You just think it's an insect. You don't even know what type of insect it is. You're like, get away, ah. And you don't really know what the gift is and the blessings that this insect truly has, what light and what, um, what beauty that is inside of it. 
So this insect could be coming into your life as a messenger and guidance to remind you to basically let your true self shine and let your true essence shine and to also not judge a book by its cover when you're viewing somebody else, to not um, place any judgment or any um, negative thoughts on something just based off of its outside appearance because you may not know you might think something's bad just because you're looking on the outside, but what that person has to offer you is true knowledge or true gifts or true help or support or guidance. So it could be coming into your life for those reasons, to really just pay attention to something for the um, for its, its true essence, like the reality of a situation, like really looking deep inside of something and loving it for what it truly is, the true essence and true nature of that individual or of that thing. Um, so yeah, you know, just like most spirit animals, um, some spirit animals don't have that many different meanings. Some of it have just one meaning or two meaning or three meanings, but you know, the symbolism with these spirit animals can have multiple meanings. And it's just up to you to dive inside of your intuition and see which meaning um, really resonates with you. Because even as watching this video right now, you'll be able to have a light um, switch on inside of you or feeling inside of you or understanding inside of you once you feel a certain part or a certain representation of this insect resonates with you. So it's about diving inside of your intuition and seeing which aspect of this um, spirit guide actually resonates with you and how to apply that to your specific journey and your specific um, experiences, okay? So yes, this animal is, or this insect, this guide, this beauty, it's just all about really understanding yourself for your true essence and making sure that you're putting yourself up on a pedestal as well making sure that you're putting yourself inside of the light to shine, making sure that your gifts are being looked at, making sure that there's nothing um, inside of your environment or your surroundings that's actually dimming your light, and making sure that you are not judging a thing or a book or a person or an animal or a situation just by the outer appearance or just by the um, first thought that you have on that thing. Instead, look deep inside of it and really understand the situation for its true essence because it could have some blessings, it could shine some light on you. And with that being said, another um, meaning for this insect is basically to show you the light. It can be a guide on your path, just like basically all spirit animals, but in this way, it can shine a light on a path for you. If you're having a specific thought inside of your mind, and then you see this insect. And if you're having a specific thought inside of your mind and that thought is you being in limbo about a situation and you see this insect and you dive further into your intuition, you will be able to get some guidance from that insect on which path is meant for you to take if that's something that you're trying to figure out inside of your head, okay? So I hope that could make some sense to you and I hope that you could gain some wisdom and some guidance from my video. And I really hope that you guys continue to spread your light and your love and find the blessings that you have inside of you. Find that gift, the creative spark um, and, and passion and light that you have inside of you and know that it's sacred to you and nobody can take it away from you. Even if it's not shining in certain times of the day or certain periods of your life, um, if you went through a long period of your life where you kind of didn't let your light shine or your gifts show, it doesn't mean that those gifts have gone stale. It doesn't mean that the blessings you have or the creativity you have has gone stale. It's always inside of you and it never fades away. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this channel. I really hope that you could um, really resonate with that video. I'll be leaving all of my information inside of the description box if you guys wanna follow me um, on social media or anything like that. And also don't forget to like this video if you guys are liking it so far and absolutely subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos and my content. 
And yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I'll see you guys inside of the next video. Bye-bye.